Hi boys and girls, Miss Quinnell here. We are continuing week three of our how-to writing. This part five is going to be all about writing a closing. So I decided I wanted to teach someone and all of you how to grow a plant. I did my introduction where I hooked the reader, I introduced the topic, and I listed the materials needed. I listed all the steps and I used transitional words at the beginning of my sentences to make sure it had kind of good flow and so it made sense as well. And I also shared my how to writing with somebody so they could follow the steps. And I made sure to go back and add details that I needed so they could follow the steps correctly. So I had four steps in total for my particular task. Some of you had less, some of you had more. Now we're gonna focus on our closing. So this is the last part of your writing. This is where you wrap it all up. And for how-to writing, sometimes it's a good idea to ask a question or tell a hope. So for myself, in my closing paragraph, I wrote, are you ready to grow flower? I hope this writing helped you learn how to grow your own plant. I had my question, are you ready to grow a flower? And I had my hope. I hope this writing helped you learn how to grow your own plant. It doesn't have to be a very long paragraph, but you can tell it's the end because like I said, it kind of wraps it up and it kind of keeps everything organized and as I'm reading it, it makes sense. I know it's the end. So at this point you can stop. So it's up to you how you want to do your activities this week. You can either Maybe just watch the video today and start your closing tomorrow and do the rest the, throughout the week. Or maybe you feel comfortable watching the video and then start writing your closing. That's really up to you. Attach this assignment is to Google Docs. You can see there's one you can print and you just need to print it off and then you can use your own printing right on it. Or you can type directly into the Google Docs. It's up to you how you want to do it. And you can also just write it on your own piece of paper as well. So the next part of our how-to writing will be kind of putting it all together and I will speak more to that later. So this is going to be about your final copy. Writers typically do not just hand in the very first copy they write. They often need to go back, make changes and revisions, and make sure it makes sense, use checklists. And this is what we've been doing the past few weeks. You've done this already. So all you're doing now is just kind of putting it together so it's more organized. So you're going to have revised your work. Like I said, you've been doing that the last few weeks. And you can decide how you want to present your work. I have an idea here of if you just want to type it directly to Google Doc, you'll see it's attached to this assignment. If you want to do your own printing, you can print it off and write directly on it, or you could do it on your own piece of paper. Some of you have asked me questions about other ways you can present it, and I know the other grade two teachers and I want you to get creative if you want to go and do that kind of thing. You can make a Google slide. I know you've done several of those this year. You can make your own book and share each page you do, or you can make a video where you're in the video describing how to do your task. And you can dress up, you can have a funny voice. It's up to you. However you present it, we wanna make sure it's very organized and very clear, and you're still following the checklist. Your second grade no excuse words here and your writing reference checklist so this is for everything so a lot of these you should be able to check off already because you should have checked it with the other checklists so your introduction where you hooked the reader introduced a topic and you listed the materials you needed you listed all the steps to complete the task successfully you created pictures to go with each step and you wrote a closing statement at the end of your writing. For organization, you have a beginning, middle, and end when you're writing your steps and using those transitional words. Your writing is organized into proper paragraphs. Your writing makes sense. This is a big one. If you can't really make sense of your writing, we won't be able to as well. And with conventions, it's what we always focus on in writing. You have capitals, you have punctuation, spaces between your words. You're using, making sure those no excuse words are spelled correctly. 
And of course, printing and typing is neat and others can read it. If you have finished at this point, wow, that's a lot of work you've done over the last three weeks. I know we're very excited to see what you've come up with and learn maybe something new, something you've taught us. And make sure you've gone back and check that success criteria checklist to make sure you have everything you need in your writing. When you are complete, please upload it to Google Classroom and send it to your teacher. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to contact your teacher and ask your questions. We hope you've had fun with this assignment. I know we've had a lot of fun reading it. And I hope everyone has a great, great week and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.